Yeah, uh, well, we're in Poznan, Poland, uh, but when did you arrive in, uh, in Europe? Uh, we arrived 5th of, uh, 5th of May, yeah. uh, straight into Munich. So, um, boys, we've had a training camp there at the 1000 metre group uh, at the old 72 Olympic course. Um, so we've really had a great sort of step into Europe. It's been a bit cold, a bit cold in the last year, but um, it's been really good. The, the, the conditions there have been really quite, quite uh, pleasant with us, really, considering how cold it is. Yeah. Uh, but preparation has been a good start. We've kick-started well. We've um, come up here with the K2 to Poznan today, and uh, it's a brand-new crew, so we sort of want to establish a, a race plan and um, a, you know, some performance indicators for them to build on. Yeah. So, yeah, well, what is the objective of, of racing now here in, in Poznan for, for the boys, but also for Alana, for example, uh, tomorrow, I think? Yeah, well, look, I can only assume, I think, for, um, well, not assume, I think for the boys, I know for a fact, is uh, we want to come here and get some racing under our belt. Uh, it's been a long time internationally to get some racing. Um, so you want to come here, particularly in a regatta like this, we knew to be uh, quite strong with, with European selections in front of it for the games, and uh, they'll hang around and do more racing. So we... It was an opportunity to try the new crew out. You know, your performance indicators through training are going to give you one thing, but race day is, is where it all matters, and, and you'll find out you know, those little one percenters and what went right and wrong yeah. uh, to help build and, and continue to, to get that momentum running through because you know, we're 12 weeks out. Yeah. Uh, and that, you know, these next three weeks or these next three competitions are going to go very quickly. Uh, and then your preparation, your final block, you, know, you, want to, you want to know where you're at in order to, to train the crews and the boats and the athletes to to make sure that um, what you prepare and, and plan for those boats and the, and the individual is going to be you know, 100% to what you agree on. Yeah. Hey, and I have already seen uh, Jake and, and Ken racing. Next week you will be in, uh, in Duisburg, Germany. Yep. Uh, they will, the others will join there, the other boys? Yeah, the boys at the moment are just wrapping up their, their training block in, uh, in Munich with um, Nathan Luce. And um, um, we're, they're going to drive up to, up to Duisburg. Uh, we will join the boys there on Sunday, Saturday night, Sunday, so we'll watch the, um, the European League Cup with Bayern München and Chelsea, we'll, we'll find a nice little bar and, and have one, uh, one, one beer that is, and, uh, and then we'll, we'll move on to, um, to you know, getting focused again for Duisburg, which is, you know, for us, it's the most important regatta of the whole competition with our preparation leading into the games. Um, you know, we know that, the, that all major countries that really want to you know, gauge themselves off each other will be there, the Germans will be really strong again and you know we, we we're looking forward to that regatta yeah hey and and the k4 if, if i'm correct it's not yet all set in stone is is duisburg also uh, the place you know where you're going to well try out a few things or yeah the k4 what, what what's happening oh look the, as, as it stands now the k4 is 100 together uh there's no changes and um yeah there's no you know originally due to yeah, david smith's health we uh, we had to put maybe a plan b in place but uh, to, to David's credit, he's managed his health exceptionally well, better than what we've all we've all thought. Um, and he's done everything right. He's dot the I's and crossed the T's. And I think you know uh, we we see no reason as to why we need to to, to play a Plan B when when he's coming strong and and the boys have got confidence for him and and um, his 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 want to be part of that boat is 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 101%. So you know those guys deserve to to not have any disruptions. Uh, and I'm not going to give it to them. And I think that um. You know, it's 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 um, it's a great place that they're actually they're in now. You know, they're going to move forward, and and the boat itself's been training well in, in Munich. Um, so we've had a, you know some nice continuity now, and that's starting to come back in, and it's starting to grow the confidence and the belief and the and the and the stroke rates, the planning, the you know the the race plan, all that's starting to just starting to to ramp up now. So we'll we'll find that yeah you know, we've got 12 weeks, and we'll we'll find that tune tune that properly. Yeah. 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 Hey, um, hey, let's talk a little bit about you because we always talk about the athletes and, and you know their performance, how they feel. But obviously, for you as a coach, um, uh, the other stuff, it's pretty demanding being here. On, on one hand, it's fun; on the other hand, yeah, it's demanding, as I said. Yeah. How is this for you being in Europe for, for such a long time? Oh no, look, it's um, it's it's a br it, you know, I'm sure the athletes see that we have the good life. Um, but at the end of the day, is that uh, maybe our heart rate mightn't get as high as theirs, but uh, I think our mental thinking and our preparation to try and make sure that what we prepare and plan for them is is obviously trying to stay one step ahead of them in order to let them allow them just to prepare themselves, you know, as athletes to the best of their ability. Um, you know, it's a key working the dynamics. Um, you know, put, putting the, putting these things together, particularly in big boats, it's 
it's making sure everything fits and you do it right. There's no room for error, particularly this you know this part of the the season and at this end of the competition. You know it's it's top end, and um, yeah, no one no one accepts mistakes or second best, um, particularly when everyone's making a sacrifice. You know, and that's just it's just the way it is. And um, you know, you, you put yourself in that position, you work hard, and you get into a little bit of a zone, and you zone out from life a little bit, your friends and family, and yeah. and it, yeah, it does get brutal at times. But um, you know, you, you can definitely take stock of all that when you come home, and you have a bit of a rest, and you reevaluate things, and you go right. You know, you always you always improve things year to year. And I think you never stop learning, yeah. and you never stop um, you know trying to make things easier, for, not only just for the athletes, but for your family and support and friends around you. You know, you got to make sure that you make time for them. <laughs> Otherwise, it, it can become a quite a lonely little world, um, and it can eat you up really quickly too. So, you know, you've got to keep your sanity um, yeah. to the best of your ability, okay. and you need that. <laughs> well, hey, well, Jimmy, thank you very much for that, and well, good luck. Huh? The season just started, so. Thank you so much.